みなさん、こんにちは。ヒゲさんです。今回は、クルリの琥珀色の街、上海ガニの朝、分析しましょう。That was a long title. すごく長いタイトル。でも、多分できた。Whew. But we're here to check out a brand new band, クルリ。So I'm very excited to check out what kind of music they make. And just by looking at the video, it looks like a very Cool vibe kind of setting, so maybe this song is gonna be a very chill kind of song. But with that being said, we can watch up. Let's go. Channel to talk to the name. Oh, what a nice riff! Let's cut that. Loving the bass. Ooh, what was that from the guitar? This song has such a nice vibe. <laughs> What was that? Is that the guitar? Alright, l- let's stop it here for a little bit. Just. What a vibe this song is. The bass, absolutely love that funky bass. And that's what I get from this song, a kind of jazz setting, but it still has a little bit of pop elements as well. But I'm really enjoying all of the background stuff that's going on, especially with the guitar and maybe the production work, but the piano and then the drum rhythms. Toto mo subarashi. Loving the vocals. Also, like the style that he's singing, kind of like the fast space singing. Ooh, that was nice. To go. Oh, da, da. I don't know the lyrics, but I really like what he did there. Ooh, that was nice. The, the guitar is just so good in this song. <laughs> I love all of the riffs that the guitar is doing. I forgot to mention it at the beginning, but I really love the way the vocals are done in this song. They're creating such a nice atmosphere, and I feel like the vibe of the song is coming from the vocals itself. Of course, the instruments are creating a nice atmosphere, but the way that the vocals are done, it's so interesting. And I'm also really enjoying the parts where the other vocalist comes in. I feel it's a very nice addition, but I'm really loving those drum rhythms. Just fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, we got three vocals. Ooh. Look at all of the guitar effects in here. 
But I really like that kind of like vocal solo or something. Never heard that before. I love the vocalist here too. Ooh, the wah pedal. Oh, we can get some kind of solo here. Ooh, a little harmonics. The piano, man. Man, what a track. <laughs> that was unique. I gotta say, that is very unique. This song, in terms of like the composition, but also the elements of the song, the jazz and J-pop elements, what a nice blend. But something that really stood out to me is that, I know this is the live version, but I noticed that the instruments were kind of like the volume was a little bit back. I could hear the bass very vividly. So I don't know if the original studio version of the song is like that as well, or if this was intended for this track, but I felt like that really added to this song. Like it created such a nice kind of vibe. Totemo kakui kanji tomo. Demo tsuki kashi mimasho. So here are with the lyrics to Kohaku iro no machi, Shanghai ga ni no asa. Oh, I think I got it right, maybe. But after looking at the lyrics, I'm thinking this song has to do with a romance. But the way that the lyrics are written is very interesting. They are talking about kind of like a different world. And like I, when I'm thinking of this song, I'm picturing like some kind of art. But I feel like there's a story being painted in my head when I'm looking at these lyrics. And then I get the romance element because... There are lines where the person is saying, uh, like, I want to eat crab with you and just kind of wanted to spend time with that special person. But overall, this song was just a hidden gem. I really love the elements of this song. I just really like everything about this track. Just not even the elements or the instruments, just everything. Totemu sobarashi kajitomota. Amizabete kazama, shalosei, sedemashou, matane.